It's going to be a relatively light Monday night in the NHL. One of three games on the slate. All yours on NBC Sports Washington tonight. The Washington Capitals squaring off with the Tampa Bay Lightning. The second of three between these two. So they see each other a couple of times in the first month. They won't see each other again till early April. Evgeny Kuznetsov and Alex Ovechkin getting used to their white sweaters a couple of times this week down in the Sunshine State as the Caps come into this evening's affair with a mark of 5-0 and 3, tangling with a Tampa Bay squad that's just 1-2-1 one, and one on home ice. Unusual for the two-time defending champs who can so often run the opposition out of this building. Amelie Arena in Tampa. Justin St. Pierre, Peter McDougal of the referees tonight. Killian McNamara and David Brisebois on the lines. We are off and running in Tampa. The Bolts rocking the blue. John Carlson sifting it on around for the captain. Alex Ovechkin, who is off to a tremendous start in this his 17th season as a pro. One of his best ever, as Laviolette said, you've got to skate and compete like crazy, and it starts right off the bat. You've got to have a good start kicking off the road. Chernak lets it go. That's blocked on its bumpy way towards the cage. Top of the screen, you're seeing Peter Laviolette's line combinations and deep pairings. Things are changing as the Capitals' injury list includes now Nicholas Backstrom, Nick Dowd, and T.J. Oshie. And because of that, we'll see a lot of newbies, including Protus tonight. I'm looking forward to seeing him centering the fourth line for the Caps. John Cooper's team pretty much intact, but they lost a ton last year. They lost their third and fourth line. They're trying to rebuild. Their D are the same, and they have Vasilevsky. They're still trying to find their rhythm. The Caps got to get them off their rhythm here on their home ice. Bolts are running without the outstanding Nikita Kucherov due to injury. Surgery recently for a lower body injury. Eight to ten weeks for Kuch, as they call him in Tampa. Sergachev, who had the game-tying goal against Washington 16 days ago in D.C., what turned out to be a 2-1 overtime win for Tampa Bay. As Jensen cycles away from some pressure, it's Orloff on the headman for Haglund. He's straightened up there by Sergachev. Yeah, he caught him with a good, clean, open ice shoulder check. Haglund went down in a hurry. Headman trying to fish it free, getting help from Sergachev. Along the wall, Radish is there, 16 in the blue. On its bumpy way, score! The long wrister deflects home. The cap strike in the first two minutes. Long range shot right off the get go. Love it. And Leeson just fires it from the point in front of the net. It's deflected on the way. Good forecheck there by Haglin, who got rocked at the other end. Eller and Haglin worked down low. Bad clear by Sergachev. A good interaction between Jensen and Leeson. And there it is off Hedman right in front of the net. And no chance for the goaltender Vasilevsky. And Leeson will take it. What a way to start the game. His first. Here's the shot. Here's Hedman's stick catching a piece of it. That would be an excellent deflection if one of the Caps were in front. Even better, the Caps get an early break, and he's got his first career goal. Brett Leeson, 113, the time of the tally. The 22-year-old from Calgary gets himself on the board. He and Alexi Protis, who's making his debut tonight, were junior mates back in the day in the Western League. And what a smile he had on his face. He was very noticeable in his first game, even though he played under nine minutes. Yeah, there you go. Fist bumps all around from the boys on the bench. What a way to start. He's a big body. Everybody knows that. He's really worked on his skating. He's improved that aspect of the game. He feels faster. He looks faster. He had a terrific camp. He gets recalled. And now he's helped out the Caps to a 1-0 lead. Played just under nine minutes in his NHL debut back on Friday. The Caps down in the Arizona Coyotes. An early 1-0 advantage. Thanks to a Brett Leeson strike with the NHL on NBC Sports Washington. And you got to like that goal because as a youngster, that was a great interchange between him and Jensen. He had good defensive posture that leads to offense. And because of that, he strikes first. Capitals playing their ninth game this season. They have scored the first goal in seven of those. At point position, Merck it down the dasher for Haglin. The return pass will get away. This will chase uh, Washington all the way back to Vitek Vanacek. Teaming up with uh, Trevor Van Riemsdyk. Sprong, just out of reach for McMichael, who's in a foot race with Sergachev. Anthony Mantha turns, looks for a point man. Carlson fires. That hit traffic in front. 
Carlson off the reload, another wrister that sails wide to Vasilevsky. On the wraparound, he's there to make the save on McMichael, My, who's Mike. looking for his first NHL tally. And when he's been on the ice, he has been crazy good when it comes to fancy stats. He's creating a lot of high danger opportunities for himself and his line mates, and that's another one. He was in the paint. That was a fabulous stop in front by Vasilevsky. Perry's pass to the wing behind its intended target, looking there for Ross Colton. This is offside against the Lightning. Well, they're skating, and that's exactly what you have to do. You've got to pressure Tampa Bay and all points on the ice. Because of that, they get a chance. Here, first of all, Sprung. Look at this puck go right to McMichael. And the five hole is closed off. Good butterfly, good stick position. That's why he's detailed and one of the best in the business between the pipes is Vasilevsky. Who was terrific in the first game back in D.C. 32 stops from Vasilevsky helping the uh, Bolts to a 2-1 OT win. Orloff will reverse it for Jensen. The breakout begins with Alexi Protis. Protis, 6'5", 225 pounds. Sherry run to the ditch along the boards as the Lightning will recoil. Three minutes into the contest. Leeson unassisted. The time of that marker, 113. His first in the bigs. Jensen slams on the brakes to avoid Braden Point. Point with points in four of the last five. Gave it up there. Good stick check, and back comes Wilson with Ovechkin. Isolating here for a wrister that's buzzed wide. Wilson had a good look. And what a fabulous pass by the Capitals captain. Good lane drive there by Tom, but an even better pass on the backhand from Alex Ovechkin. Killorn, who's been hot for Tampa Bay. Goals in each of the last three games. Back at point position, Chernak. Settles, skips around Kuznetsov, then fires. Had it blocked by Van Riemsdyk. Among the Caps' leaders in block shots so far this season. They needed that block in a big way. Hedman unloads. Ouch. That hit Kuznetsov, dropped him down. As it's back into the Tampa Bay end. Chernak. Finding Alex barre boulet as Kuznetsov is just now getting back to the bench. barre boulet on for Radish. Radish fires a routine save there for Vanacek. Schuster a long way from the cage will place it south of the goal line. Carlson hot foots it over to beat Belmar and this is Sky back to center. Schuster fending off the forecheck plays it to neutralize. Haglin there tied up quickly with Radish and Pierre Edouard Belmar gets back for Tampa Bay. Three of the first four shots in the game belonging to Washington. The goal comes from Brett Leeson. His first in the NHL, 73 seconds into this contest. Joseph, who has terrific speed, seven in the blue, challenging Anthony Mantha. Back into Orloff's corner with help from Jensen. Nick Jensen, one of the league leaders, top 10 when it comes to plus minus. This skitters all the way to Vasilevsky. He'll paddle it to Hedman. He rarely likes to stop the puck and slow down the pace of play for his teammates. He's got to be prepared. He's not going to cover up too much when the pucks are around the paint. He's going to move it. You've got to be ready defensively. Working wide, Palat looking for foot. This dribbles to the doorstep, skated away. Jensen looking on the outlet, spots uh, Sprong through center. He'll leave it in his wake for Mantha. Close line quickly by Ryan McDonough. Good start for the Caps here. The Caps have wanted the puck so far about six minutes in. Just now five and a half minutes old. Stamkos hiding back behind the cage. Steven with points in six of his first eight this season. Tampa Bay coming in with a mark of four, three and one. 12 points leads, and he needs to be the star that he is with Kucherov out of the lineup, and he gets a lot of tough assignments. Everybody knows they're going to be up against Stamkos. They're going to have the checking unit out against them. Vasilevsky there to short-circuit that dump in. At point position, Schultz rockets one for Ovechkin's drive. A pad save. The reload from Wilson's in tight. Deflected back out to center. Sorelli tried to split the gap, nothing there. And that's key right there at the, at the blue line defensively for the Caps. You've got to stack it up. This is a team that likes to go into the zone under control. Closing here to his forehand was Wilson. Stick check on the back check by Sorelli. Chernak will clear it in. 
Locker, it might have taken me all of November to guess that Chernak leads Tampa Bay in shots this season, but he does. <laughs> that, that is quite amazing, isn't it? Uh, I mean, they're working on, like every team does now, they work on more defensive shots. They want their defensemen to be mobile at the blue line. They want little wristers. They want simple shots, and that's what Chernak's delivered for Tampa. On this, the first day of November, Washington matches up with Tampa Bay for a second time. Caps have the 1-0 early lead, seven minutes clear in the first. Carlson's wrister dipping into the glove of Vasilevsky. He'll hold on. A chance for us to step away from Amelie Arena. Good start for Washington. Right off the jump, congratulations for Brett Leeson. His first finds a home. This will be the Capitals' only visit in the regular season to Tampa inside Amelie Arena, where Washington has a 1-0 lead. We have the netminders lined up thanks to the Toyota Star Trek. One will be V for victory for the respective teams tonight. Vitek Vanacek, 2-0-2, 2.26, 9-11. Andre Vasilevsky, another V at 4-2-1. He carries the work in the mail in Tampa. Elliott's played one game and took a loss. Identical save percentages for these two goalies facing down one another. The Leeson goal at 113. There has been an assist credited to Nick Jensen. As the Caps are in the white sweaters on the road, Washington and Edmonton, the two best road teams a season ago in the pandemic-shortened NHL campaign of 56 games. Capitals with game number nine unfolding tonight. On the wall, Carlson, neatly for Ovechkin. Alex on the delay, his headman pass comes all the way back into the lightning zone. McDonough with a little shake, trying to loosen himself from Wilson, who ripped him off. And Wilson was flattened by Chernak. On the go, Braden Point. Little give-and-go with Alex Kalorn. Carlson's next in line. Keep it humming on the perimeter for Wilson. Board to board, there's Ovechkin. Alex, a little headman pass. A soft one there intended for Garnet Hathaway. As uh, McDonough will slow the tempo, 32-year-old Minnesotan. Ryan McDonough, who would have overlapped for one season at Wisconsin with Justin Schultz. Plus 199 in his career. Yeah, that'll work. Pretty dependable. Mm -hmm. Sergachev outlasting Sprong on the headman for Stamkos. Steven building momentum, gets to the outside. Jensen stays right there with him and closes ranks. I think he's skating better than he ever has, Stamkos. He just looks like a different player. I guess when you go through years and years of injury, now you're finally healthy. He just looks like the player that he was when he was drafted. He's tremendous. 60 goals 10 seasons ago, back in 2011-12. Joseph chops this one for Stamkos. Orloff rides him to the boards. Dmitry Orlov and Nick Jensen. Locker, what's made them a good tandem together? I just think they work so well. They bring different dynamics to the ice rink. I mean, you have a skater in Jensen. You have Orlov, who's tough and physical. They get a lot of D-zone starts. They've been the go-to pair for Laviolette, and it's just instant chemistry. The style of play, they make simple plays coming out of the zone. They read one another. That pair is here to stay. Lars Eller, full gallop into the offensive end. Arister that's blocked off by Cal Foot. 22-year-old who's back from a conditioning stint. Wearing number 52 like his dad did for so many years with Colorado, Adam Foot. Cal born in the Denver area. And this has paddled the length of the ice. It'll be icing against Tampa Bay. What do you want from your sports book? The best odds? Same game parlays you can boost for even more? You want to live your bet life. You betcha, Mr. Breeze, you betcha. Almost halfway home in this opening period. A 1-0 Washington advantage if you're tuning in a little late with us this Monday night. Brett Leeson, one of five different rookies the Capitals have on their roster. His first NHL marker against Vasilevsky at 113. Andre wants them to do it again in the defensive zone. And the importance for a youngster to put pucks on the net. You know, every coach preaches that, and that's exactly what he did. Did he get a break off a headman stick? Absolutely, but if he stick candles, doesn't move it, he doesn't get his first of his career. Way to go. The familiar blade of the game's greatest gold scorer at the moment. 
Number eight, Alex Ovechkin, closing in on Brett Hull for fourth all time. Two away from tying, three tallies from passing. As Kuznetsov angles out, finds Ferravari. He'll let it go, deflected away, and that catches a big piece of the glass. Ovechkin kicking it while losing his balance. McDonough on the takeaway. Killorn breezing through center, finds Point. Point looking to create that pass, didn't have enough pace on it. Ovechkin was hiding behind the D, almost took that relay from Kuznetsov. I think it was Chernak's blade that caught a piece of that, or it's gone. It's a breakaway for the grade eight. Good defensive play there. The Caps doing an excellent job at their own blue line, thwarting Tampa Bay's speed and creativity, and they've got to continue with that type of pressure. Play brought to a halt. The puck was played with a high stick. Washington on the road in Tampa, and a 1-0 advantage. We'll have you back for more. Washington rookie Brett Leeson's given Washington the one nothing advantage. Take your time to digest these numbers regarding Evgeny Kuznetsov in the Taco Bell take. Trying to prove everybody wrong, all the naysayers from last year and being the superstar he is, kicking off this season with one of his best starts ever. Average total per game on ice up, just about two minutes. Power play time up, and I like that last note. Shorthanded time, being utilized more and more shorthanded by Laviolette. Last year, his previous high was just 13 seconds a game. He's up to a minute. Capitals a 2-0 victor over Arizona back on Friday. Kuznetsov had a pair of assists in that one. He's closing in on 300 helpers in his career. Foot lets it fly. Vanacek knocked it down. Mantha will tee it up, and away comes Washington with Sherry through center. Foot to the backboards. Drives it on around Orloff on the back pedal, dealing with a couple of lightning defenders. Perry forced him back. There's a delayed penalty call coming up. That's a cheapie against Orloff. It's going to be a trip. And Tampa Bay will go to the power play. Orloff, I think, was looking for Jensen. Tried to toe the line and didn't feather that pass across. Here's the call. And there's a call. It's a trip right at the blue line. He makes the play. Jensen's over there on the far side, but then backs up. And then he trips down Perry right there. He was actually going for the puck. He misses the puck. His stick clicks off Perry's skates. And with that, Tampa with the extra man. Tampa Bay team just one for 14 on the man advantage on home ice. Van Riemsdyk slings it around the dasher. Point managed to keep that in. Jensen to the boards with Stamkos as it squirts loose. Vanacek not able to get a glove down to cover there as Haglin will clear. And they're not a two-headed monster anymore. Usually they stack both sides. One with Stamkos, one with Kucherov for one-timers. Without Kucherov, it's a different look and power play. Washington's PK hovering around 77% in the first month of this new season. Bouncing biscuit at center. Haglin wants the line change. Kalorn revs it up into the offensive end with point. Not able to thread the needle there through Van Riemsdyk. Kicks it along the wall. Eller digging in. Kalorn sets it. Hedman poke checked and off to the races goes Washington's Tom Wilson. Fires Vasilevsky out there to challenge. Talk about speed and power. Doesn't get better than that. Tom Wilson on a Norris Trophy winner. Out muscles big headman and gets a great scoring chance shorthanded. More than halfway through the shorthanded situation with Orlov in the sin bin. Sergachev through center. Play it out wide. Colton's wrister wide of the cage. On the end wall to the boards for Perry. Four players in the scrum. Palat there. Colton comes out of there with a biscuit. Sorelli behind the back. A Sergachev drive answered by Vanacek. 30 seconds on the power play. Perry switch the point of attack. Slot it. Bump it back to the point. Sergachev on the look away around Hathaway. Set it up well. Fanning on it was Perry from point blank. Sprinting to the boards, Kuznetsov there. Colton as well for Tampa. Sorelli spots Sergachev. Palak, well played by Ferravari. Five seconds in the power play. Two-man game, Sergachev Rister spoiled by Hathaway. He kicked it away with a skate. Washington back to even strength. Corey Perry, former NHL MVP, sends it below the goal line. Carlson takes it. 
and fights his way back to center. They say Corey per Perry is playing well, just kind of find the back of the net. They're a misfire, their best chance in the power play, and he misses the puck completely on the doorstep. Maroon and Perry have been together with Ross Colt and those two wingers, veterans, do not have a point yet this season. As Van Riemsdyk clears in. Blame it on your center. <laughs> Tried and true formula of Craig Lachlan. <laughs> On the dump in, Radish had his stick lifted by Schultz. Chernak sweeps it. McDonough sends it wide of the goal. Radish again is there. Taylor Radish, who was a healthy scratch in the first meeting a couple weeks back. Belmar snaps it right on. A stick save for Vanacek. Chernak zips it through the goal mount. McDonough, one time Belmar missed the target. Big rebound. Sherry for Washington will skip it back into Vasilevsky's neighborhood for an icing against D.C. I think Tampa Bay got some life on their power play. They had decent zone time. Tom Wilson and the penalty killers did yeoman job. Watch this play by Tom Wilson. Little pass. He reads it off. Stamp goes going ahead. And watch him knock his right shoulder and said, get out of my way. And what a shot. Even better stop. Look at how Vasilevsky challenges way out there at the other end. The blocker to the rescue for Vitek. Vitek Vanacek made 22 stops in the overtime loss first time around against the Lightning. Sergachev sweeps this down low. 540 to play in the first. Work it up top. Hedman. Sergachev's rocket nudged aside by Vanacek. He got it with a glove and the arm. Along the boards, Schultz hemmed in the Washington zone for a moment, and he'll loop it back. Sergachev will give some ground. Teams making personnel changes. Hedman launching it ahead. Killorn fighting through the wash. Jensen there for the Capitals. He had to fight through the wash because the Capitals were stacked once again. Nice neutral zone defense by the Caps. You need that type of separation between your players in the neutral zone against a high-powered team like Tampa. They don't like running through five different guys in the neutral zone. And that's why the Caps have had success here in the first. They've only had a couple of quality chances. Kuznets a great pass. Better poke check, though. Vasilevsky with a quick stick there on Wilson. Brett Leeson has the lone goal for Washington. Leeson's first in the NHL, coming at the 113 mark. Still the lone assist credited to Nick Jensen. Kuznetsov's pass is blocked. Joseph looks to go in transition. Joseph with that sprinter speed to the outside. Faravari stayed with him well. Four and change separating us from Integrate Intermission Live. Palat, always dangerous. Andre Palat gaining ground at the attacking line. Palat working wide on Faravari. Help comes. Along the boards, Haglin was there with an assist from Lars Eller. John Carlson tries the other flank. Bounces off of Hathaway and back to neutral. Five on five, the cap was going really well against Tampa. Hathaway steps in, lets it go right to the chest protector of Vasilevsky. Tampa Bay netminders have the best number one save percentage in the first period in the NHL this season. 962. Which means Tampa is a slow starting team getting out of the gate, especially on home ice. Their last couple of games they put up five spots, but earlier on in the season really struggling scoring five on five. Long drive, pad save, Vanacek. Lightning buzzing at the offensive end. Surprisingly though, Tampa Bay the worst save percentage in the third period this season. Maroon turning in this 1-0 hockey game. Colton play it for a headman wrister. That didn't get through the traffic. Sprong and Eller out there looking to make a break for it. And Daniel Sprong kicks it to center. Foot. That pass was a little bit ahead of him, allowing Washington to regroup. Anthony Mantha jetting his way through center. Mantha with points in two of his last three rolls it into the corner. Takeaway Sprong flailed it wide of the cage. Mantha after McDonough. Still alive for Washington in the business end with 2.40 to go in the first. And that's what you want from Mantha. You want to see him finish checks along the wall. He's a big frame guy, and there he crushes one of their D. His ice time last game was as high of a season, just over 16 and a half minutes. That point position, McDonough plays it rink wide. Chernak. Chernak slides it into the corner. Sherry up in arms with Belmar. 
That allows Schultz to play for Washington. This will trickle back to neutral ice. Sherry, as always, like a buzzsaw there on the forecheck. Chernak lofting it into the Washington zone. Ferravari under heat from Sorelli. Leeson, who has the lone strike in this contest. Jensen on the hop out of his own zone. Driving it in. This one all the way around for a Sergachev clearing effort as the Caps change their personnel grouping. Golfed at by Sorelli. On the backboards, Wilson gathers for the Caps with 100 seconds to play in the opening period. They've been great exiting their zone. Tampa Bay, not a whole lot of time in the capital zone because of the breakouts that the Caps have had. TV timeout for us. Get you back for the final one minute and change. Caps on top by one. There's a man who has tormented Tampa Bay throughout his illustrious career. The Caps and Alex Ovechkin a 1-0 lead so far tonight. Caps fans, Xfinity Mobile delivers fast nationwide 5G on the most reliable network. Save on your wireless bill with Xfinity Mobile. Ovechkin in the Caps locker going to a man advantage here. Kalorn, two for slashing. Yeah, he was a disbeliever, but he's in the box. And the Capitals' power play, which has been clicking lately, we talked about that at the top of the show, about how they've had some real good runs and had some poor runs and now they're back on the upside going three for their last ten this is only the what third road game of the season for washington they're 0 for four away from dc on the man advantage as kuznetsov digs in on the draw with 90 seconds to play in the opening period special teams numbers at the bottom of your screen wilson playing the tj oshi position in that bumper spot ovechkin looking for the redirect there from sherry who also crept in tight Ovechkin fires, pad save, Vasilevsky, Wilson turns, and the netminder in the defense ready there. Carlson, nice catch, plays it back for Kuznetsov. They'll work around Belmar. Kuznetsov, snapshot, blocker pad save, Vasilevsky. Wilson tried to make one more look for Ovechkin. He'll cross over, keep it hot for Kuznetsov. That was a good stick by Stamkos on the penalty killing unit. Ovechkin straight away, shuffle it for Carlson. Those two defenders, on the interchange, 8 and 74 in the white. Kuznetsov with 43 seconds to operate. Loops one back, Carlson this way, Ovechkin one time. Erased by Chernak, that had to sting. Along the wall, play it on around. Kuznetsov slowing the tempo, coordinating with Carlson. Then Ovechkin lets it go, Chernak again with a block. You've got to pad up, I bet you, before this game. <laughs> you know you're going to be penalty killing on that side. Chernak, two great blocks against Ovi. Pad up. You might as well use Vasilevsky's <laughs> backup set. <laughs> Belmar, two on two. Belmar fires, rejected by Vanacek. And he sprawled over to beat Joseph on the rebound. Could have been a penalty there against Joseph for running over Vanacek. Belmar, a good look. Great action in this McNugget minute as time expires in the opening period. A nice period by the Caps on the road to kick off their FLA trip against Tampa and the Florida Panthers. Brett Leeson, way to go. He's got his first of the year, and that's the difference against Tampa Bay in the first 20. A couple of good looks at the end. You were saying back and forth. Indeed it was. There were some penalty-killing opportunities, some power play chances for these teams. You know they can both skate, and they have high-powered offensive units. A 1-0 lead for Washington, one-third of the way through regulation this Monday night. Ilya Samsonov sitting this one out, watching Vasilevsky and Vanacek on the hot seat as we are between periods and ready to go from studio to studio. The Caps and the Lightning inside Amelie Arena. Been a while since Washington's been in these parts. The early goal from Leeson, his first in the big leagues. Integrate intermission live, turning things over to Alexa Landestor and Alan May. into great intermission live and ryan ellis the driver was unbelievable he's a local kid that's now on the nascar circuit he lives in charlotte he ran 23rd of the 40 car cars i was on pit row listening into what his guy was saying the pit crew and i kept saying every time he came around i said Stop it, Ryan. Come on, let's go. Let's get over 120 miles an hour. It was an experience. 
that I've never had before, and it was absolutely fantastic. And thought, thank you very much to Tom and TJ Keene, allowing us to use their car to raise funds for rare cancer and Susan G. Coleman. Thank you, thank you. Bravo. Inti, great chance at a split save there from Vasilevsky in the first 20 seconds of period two. I could see you out there trading paint. <laughs> I couldn't believe when it came to the pit. Yeah. When they had things wrong with the car, oh, they yeah. used tape. And Linda always asked me at home, you're using tape to fix it? I said, yeah, they use it in NASCAR now. Now I've got it out. Something says it's a little different tape than what you might grab. <laughs> no, oh. it isn't. No? No, it's just black tape. Gaffing tape. Gaffing okay. tape to just put down the, the roof or anything that they have damaged. Good opportunity on the redirect in front of the net. Look at that, right across the paint. What a stop. The splits on a set play. Kuzi throwing it across. Wilson has it right off the catching mitt. Glorious opportunity for Willie to get on the board with his first. Oh, that's Vasilevsky right there. All the athleticism, flexibility of the big cat on display, keeping Washington away from an early 2-0 advantage. Stone Cold robbing Wilson. Would you like my NASCAR lingo, the paperclip in Martinsville? Yeah, I like that. I liked you wearing the headsets. I liked you eating the hot dog while you were in <laughs> the headsets. Why did you look so closely? <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. I try to pay attention to you. I know. I'm glad it went well. You were looking forward to it, I know. Eller on the turn, working against Hedman. Lars Eller glides back to point position, gets uh, Dimitri Orloff involved. As we're back to five on five, Haglin rakes this one wide for Jensen. Stalked there quickly by Sorelli. Washington, a one nothing leader after 20. Leeson on the board. Stuff attempt here from Eller. Denied by Vasilevsky. Jensen at the midpoint. Orloff being crowded. Kalorn on the intercept, and Hedman will roll at the center. Dmitry Orlov playing it out wide. McMichael to the cage looking for Daniel Sprong that was deflected. On a night when Washington is uh, scratching Hendrix LePierre as a healthy scratch along with Matt Irwin and Dennis Jalowski. No Backstrom, Oshie or Dowd on the injured list. McMichael fires off the shoulder of Vasilevsky. Joseph wipes out. Sprong is there for DC. McMichael checking over the shoulder. Van Riemsdyk jumped in from point position. Andre Palat there for the Lightning in the blue sweaters. Two-time defending cup champs. This one scooped at the line, not out. McMichael on a little give-and-go interchange with Mantha. Then Sprong blocked off by Stamkos. Backhand from Sprong denied. And Vasilevsky will pounce on it. Just past 1,800 hours, are we, with Martin Faravari and the Caps down in Tampa. Joe Beninati, Craig Lachlan from our NBC Sports Washington studios in D.C. We have seen Brett Leeson strike for his first in the NHL. That came at the 113 mark of the opening period. Since then, especially in the second period, the Caps have threatened Vasilevsky, who's made a, a couple of outstanding stops. They're getting way more high-danger chances in Tampa Bay 5-on-5. Five five. They're really doing well. They don't want to keep putting Tampa Bay on the power play. Play them 5-on-5 five five because they're dominating right now. Faravari got right into the chest of Corey Perry, forcing the Lightning to retreat. McDonough plays it to the flank. Colton keeps it moving. Maroon in there against Faravari. Pat Maroon, he of the three straight Stanley Cup wins. Icing here against Washington. Joe, I got one more thing on Martinsville. Please do. Okay, I want to send out thank yous to John Ellis from Xfinity Restoration, Adam Casagrande, Benji, Sabrina, Alexis, a fantastic sponsor of our car to all the people that put their names on the trunk of our car over 150 all for a great car cause and if you want to continue to help the cause we have die cast cars available oh you told me yeah. about these these are going to be great yeah die cast folks, the folks exact, you gotta get them you gotta uh, the get exact them. car so thank you to everybody supporting the cause backhand chance here score Kalorn right off the draw Bang, bang, play. They worked the play. Miss Q in front of the net at the hash marks. 
He was too wide open to jam it home. They created a two-on-one off the draw. Is it Kalorn, one of the hottest scores in the NHL? Here's Sorelli that bounces to the middle. Kalorn sneaks through, gets it around Carlson. Protus doesn't pick him up off the draw. And there's Kalorn on the doorstep. And that shows you how hot he is. Great curl and drag by Sorelli. And just enough to get it past the stick of Vitek. Look at Vitek pushes, but he doesn't push with the stick. Often I say, see how he misses it there? He usually, nine of 10 is gonna poke check that puck. He misses it, and Kalorn stashes his seventh of the season. Kalorn with goals in four straight. Tallies in six of the nine games now for Tampa Bay this season. Leveling the count at one. 318 the time of the tally. Sorelli on the primary assist. He had a helper back on Thursday when the Bolts were last in action, downing Arizona. Tom Wilson makes a strip from Belmar. Dimitri Orlov through center. Belmar back in the way for Tampa Bay. Barry Boulay, the radish, and at the line, this is offside against the host. Did you say Michael Buble? No, I did not. I oh, said okay. Alex Barre <laughs> Boulay. Okay. I was thinking the great Canadian singer. One more look at the tying goal to Alex Kalorn off to one of his best starts. He had 15 goals all of last year and just face-off play. So important to pick up the right guys off every draw. You talk about it off the draw, you try to work it. Kalorn was too wide open and the missed poke check cost Pete Tech Vanacek on the tying marker. Kalorn, who was the number three star in the NHL last week for his work. Jacob Markstrom and Drake Batherson, one and two, respectively. Four minutes clear in the second period now. Maroon going to the goal. Good stick save there by Banachek, and the rebound dribbled wide of the post. Long range bid knocked out. Perry twists one right on. Banachek at the ready as the Caps relieve the pressure. Washington had 11 of the first 15 quality chances in this game. Tampa Bay responding, though. Hedman with a blazer right to the blocking glove of the Caps netminder. Perry feeds it inside. Little give and go with Colton. Ripped it wide on the short side. They've had a good shift, the pounded shift. I mean, you have Perry, you have, you have Maroon, you have some big guys out there. Center by Sorelli, who's a very gifted center, caused a lot of problems right in front of Vita. Tampa Bay, a season ago, had 16 come from behind wins as That's a trip. Wilson went soaring through the air. Sorelli there without his hockey stick, and Tom picking himself up off the ice. Definite minor penalty. The Caps will go to the power play. You feel helpless without a stick. <laughs> Look at John Cooper giving him the what for as the Caps will go to the power play. Call coming right to center ice. And it's an easy call. He had nothing to do. He didn't have a stick to defend. Here he is in the neutral zone. He kicks it and then watch his right leg. Right there, even though he's going for the puck, makes Tom Wilson toe pick. And he knew right away he was going off for the trip. Cooper didn't like it. The Caps love it. And they go to get the lead back. Washington was one for six on the man advantage against Arizona in their last outing. John Carlson providing the game-winning PPG in what was a 2-0 shutout for Ilya Samsonov. 16 save variety. Second power play chance on the night for the guys in white as Chernak clears. John Carlson, steady as she goes, points in four of his first eight outings. Leaves it on back. Kuznetsov picks up speed through center. Yevgeny Kuznetsov, nice pass. Wilson, one more for Sherry, and the Caps get it set. Carlson gloves it down, moves the puck on the boards for Kuznetsov. Peeking through, Ovechkin, nice catch. Alex, through that same seam, deflected by Joseph. Kuznetsov elevates the pass. Carlson moves it around the horn. Ovechkin, seam, Kuznetsov closing, fires. Somehow, Vasilevsky found that through the Sherry screen. Wilson tiptoes to the front. Black comes for Carlson. Ovechkin watching Carlson pull his way down low. Vasilevsky the save. Wilson takes the rebound. Chernak to the boards. They're down a stick in front of the net. You can't pick and pass to a man. That's a penalty right there. That's Chern a penalty to Balmar. Chernak is the guy who's passing the baton. I didn't think you could do that ever. One time deflected away. McDonough blocked the Kuznetsov drive with 48 seconds left in the man advantage. Yeah, he exchanged sticks. He had two sticks in his hand at once. You can't pass the stick. He's got to go pick it up. And the penalty here, you take a look at it one more time. The stretch pass by Schultz right up the middle of alley-oop. And 
there is Sorelli. He kicks it and then kicks out his right leg because he sees big Tom storming down on him. And that sent him to the box. But they should be down another man in my books. The pass of the baton there, you have to collect your own stick. Carl Haglund relacing at the bench. 1-1 hockey game. Leeson for Washington. Kalorn early stages of the second for Tampa Bay. Caps man advantage. Eller on the draw. Ovechkin with Radish there in his hip pocket as Sergachev clears it all the way down. Schultz had a power play goal in the season opener against New York. Anthony Mantha propelling back through center. Lars Eller with 30 seconds to operate on a five on four power play. Eller hawked there by McDonough. Sergachev spins it on the wall, not enough pace to clear. Ellers centering pass, Sergachev in the way, and he'll send Washington packing. Low angle look at Schultz heading back up ice. Justin gets to the center line, forcing the bolt defenders back. Mantha sends in Sprung. Mantha with a lift check on Chernak. This is to the high slot. Sorelli out of the sin bin and off to the races, three on two. Little give and go, Sorelli right to the cage, drew a foul from Orloff. Power play coming up for Tampa Bay. In this 1-1 hockey game, we'll step aside with 12.57 to go in the second stanza on NBC Sports Washington. 1-1 hockey game. Alex Kalorn has struck for Tampa Bay to knock things up. This evening's game notes, they're brought to you by your Washington area Volkswagen dealers, and they provide detail on those who've appeared the most for Tampa Bay. The tenured guys, Vincent LeCavier, number one, Marty St. Louis, number two, Stamkos, Hedman, and Kalorn, all part of the team now. Pavel Kavina also makes a top six in most games played in Tampa Lightning history. Washington and Tampa Bay, this is all-time meeting number 133 between these two franchises. Dmitry Orlov is in the penalty box for Washington. Tampa Bay power play unit on ice. Barre Boulay, Point, Stamkos, Kalorn, and Hedman. Five out there in blue. Lars Eller shading Braden Point. Barre Boulay moves it. Bring it back up top for Hedman as Point closes. Tried to force feed Stamkos. That was well read by Haglin, who's seen that a time or two. Barry Boulay has some good hands down low. That's a guy to watch. He picked up big numbers in the American League and also in the queue when he played. He's a very gifted offensive player. A drive here from Eller that's padded down by Vasilevsky. The Caps still have the regular season lead in shorthanded goals with a couple. Stamkos driving in, centering pass that's blocked. There's another penalty coming here. Yep, it's going to go against the Caps for interference, I think. I saw a man down. It was Kalorn who was caught coming across the blue line. Wilson, I think, caught him coming across, and Kalorn's down. Wilson goes to the penalty box, and Wilson's a disbeliever, as is Alex Ovechkin with the call. Here comes the call at center ice. Two minutes for interference. Referee Justin St. Pierre making that assessment. Here's the dump in left side of the screen. You'll see the man come across. Here's Wilson coming across. Kalorn right there actually misses him and just catches his arm and down he goes. And they deem that interference. Had he hit him and elected to hit him, he would have been knocked into row five. Lip readers paradise. Mm -hmm. Peter Laviolette not appreciative of that call at all. Caps and Lightning, one of three on the NHL slate this Monday night. We have it for you with the NHL on NBC Sports Washington. And now the Caps facing a two-man disadvantage for 80 seconds. And it looked like Kalorn trying to contort himself to not get run over and wiped out. Lars Eller opposite of Anthony Sorelli on this faceoff. Lightning get it set. Stamkos gets downhill quickly. He and Hedman with flamethrowers from the top. Barre Boulay, Hedman, Barre Boulay one time off the outside of the goal. Stamkos from skate to stick. One minute left in the two minute advantage. Bombs away, Hedman, that's blocked into the safety netting for the whistle. Victor Hedman, who began the night number three on the point scoring list this season for Tampa Bay. Eight points, all of them helpers for head coach Cooper. 
First time the Caps have been down two men in this young 21-22 season. Face-off win for point. Victor Hedman straight away. Overlapping with Stamkos. That feed knocked aside by Eller. Two-man advantage for Tampa Bay, 44 more seconds. Stamkos one time blocked. At the top of the paint, eating that up was Nick Jensen. That's a stinger for Jensen right there. Took that in the body from a Stamkos good look. Sort of a semi-bumper play by Steven Stamkos and company. Working that five on three, still 41 seconds remain. With two caps in the box, Orlov and Wilson. And here's Stamkos, look at him call for the puck right here. He doesn't miss too many of them. What a block. Usually he likes it high and hard. There he goes mid-net, and that's where the only game saver, if it goes high top shelf, the puck's in and out of the net in a hurry. Good game saver there by Jensen. Hedman operating for Tampa Bay. Two men up, 34 more seconds. Stamkos, sweep it down low to Braden Point. Sorelli is the man setting the screen in front of Vanacek. Hedman, beautiful passing here, and it's a tap-in for Sorelli. Sharp angle shot, the rebound is clipped. Clipped off the right pad of Vanacek, and on the doorstep, no problem for Sorelli to chop it home. Sorelli gets his second goal of the season. He had nine all of that last year. Stamkos goes high, Hedman goes low. There's the pass that goes off the stick of Carlson, goes into the body of Sorelli. A broken play, five on three. The Caps had it sniffed out. Look at Carlson. But it hits the goalie, hits Sorelli, and then Jensen no chance to recover as the puck is swatted in. As Vitek is outside the post, the net is, is wide open. He chops it home. Two second period markers for the Lightning. Giving them the lead on home ice over the Caps, a team that has been incredibly strong in the middle period this season. And still, the Lightning persist on a five on four power play. Perry's blast blocked there, spoiled by Ferravari, out of play. Good job by Ferravari against Tampa. They're pushing the pace right now. Sorelli in front. And that line has been pretty good with Perry, Sorelli, and the big fella. He really moves maroon. He looks lighter, he looks faster, trying to win another cup. He's got enough in my mind already with three in a row. Two tallies for Tampa Bay, five minutes and 22 seconds apart. Erasing the Washington 1-0 lead that it was afforded them by Brett Leeson. Point works it. Barry Belay, slick hands. Alex Barry Belay for point. Hedman from the perimeter, punched away by Vanacek. 25 seconds left in this shorthanded situation for Washington. Eller forcing point down the dasher. Braden Point moves the puck for Hedman. Point between two defenders. Sidestepping Ferravari. Hedman changed the formation. Hedman seam pass point. One timer from the top. A kick out stop there for Vanacek. Four seconds away for Washington to getting back to five on five. Braden point fakes the slapper. Kalorn plays it around Ferravari. We're back to a level playing field. Tampa Bay with a power play goal on the five on three, giving them the 2 1 lead. They got to stay out of the penalty box. Too much pressure by Tampa Bay. Five on five. They're killing it in Tampa Bay. Not so much in the PK. Stuff attempt here at the doorstep. Vanacek waiting for point. And he'll cover up. Sending us out to a commercial break. More than halfway home in regulation. Tampa Bay by one. Lightning have grabbed a 2-1 lead over Alex Ovechkin in the visiting Capitals here in the second period as we get you to this evening's PenFed trivia question. Locke, this is a good one. <laughs> the top four goal scorers all time against Tampa. They've all managed to play at one point in time for the Washington Capitals. Can you name them? If I get three of them, do I get a B? No, okay. you get nothing. <laughs> you should get three right away. I think you can get three right away. The trouble spot is the last one for me, and I, I think I know the answer on the fourth one, but watch me, I'll talk myself out of it. The top four all-time goal scorers against Tampa Bay in the Lightning's history have all played at one time in Washington, red, white, and blue. In this hockey game, Leeson for the Caps, Kalorn and Sorelli here in the second, have made it 2-1 for Tampa Bay. Lightning at 4-3-1 so far this season. Washington, 5-0-3. 
All of that accrued in the uh, month of October as we begin November with you tonight. Kuznetsov sends it in. Caps will be against high-powered Florida on Thursday. Same night, Tampa Bay will travel north of the border to Toronto. An Atlantic Division matchup awaits. Chernak off the pump fake on Orla. Fires a kick-out save for Vanacek. The big rebound sends Washington away two-on-one. Ovechkin and Wilson. Ovechkin fires. Vasilevsky with a blocker ready. Odd man break for the Caps. That's their 13th opportunity. Chances are 13-10 now in favor of the Caps. At one point, it was 11-5 for the Caps. Here, another opportunity. Obi off the off wing. This is usually money, but look at how high and moving out is Vasilevsky. This is one guy that does not sit on the goal line. He sits at the top of the paint and above. Really takes away the net for Obi. Obi probably not happy with the accuracy of that shot because 9 of 10 he usually scores on that exact place on that exact shot. I know that replay was slow moment. You could see Alex had his eyes up for a long mm -hmm. time there to size up Vasilevsky, try to find that hole. Instead, he hit him right in the belly pad. Joseph sends it on to Killorn. Mauled there by Carlson on the rush. John took a, a high hit, either from an elbow or a stick. Foot keeps it for Joseph. Forced away, looped towards the cage and gloved by Vanacek. No problem by Vitek there. Tampa Bay Lightning gets some real momentum off their power play here in the second period against VTech. VTech and Sammy holding down the fort for the Caps so far this season. Mantha, McMichael and company trying to create some problems down low. Mantha has to continue with his physicality here against Tampa, in particular their defense. Anthony Mantha, who picked up his first ever NHL assist in this building back in March of 2016 with Detroit. Eight minutes and 45 seconds to go in the second. Sherry maneuvers in, gets to the interior. Connor Sherry stick checked by Sergachev. Leeson through a shoulder. 59 in the white is Alexi Protis. Just uh, on recall back from the American Hockey League's Hershey Bears. With Dowd put on the IR, we wish Nick the best. Understand they are all all the injured players are with the Caps in Florida. Burke and Herbert Bank are once again donating $100 for every Caps goal scored to a deserving local nonprofit organization supporting children in the community. This season's Scores for Kids recipient is Grand Involve. They're a Fairfax, Virginia-based organization which places volunteers in local Title I elementary schools helping out the students and their teachers. As always, thank you very much to Burke and Herbert. They do so, such great work in and around the DMV, always giving back. Kuznetsov digging in here on the draw for Washington. Yevgeny Kuznetsov just puttered that one back to the point. Palat knew it was coming. Andre Palat feeds inside. Chernak getting up into the flow with Braden Point. A back-checking Ovechkin clears it to center. Perfect lane by Ovi on the back-check inside the dots, allowing Point to be outside. Easy intercept on the back-check. Vanacek calling for Trevor Van Riemsdyk. Neat moves away from the four-check of Point. We're five on five with 7.55 to go in the second. You see the scoring opportunities for these two squads at the top of the screen. Vasilevsky began this second period with a magnificent stop on Tom Wilson, or else it would have been two zip. This is icing against the Bolts. Caps have done a good job against Tampa Bay because their giveaways aren't very high. They're only about four and a half, which is close to the best in the biz, but they've caused a lot of turnovers because they're skating. They're getting in passing lanes. They're ripping them off. They've just got to continue. Continue to play the way they are and stay out of the penalty box. They're going to be fine here tonight. Our friends at Sport Radar remind us Tampa Bay had the fewest giveaways of any team in the league a season ago. Long wrist shot sails wide. Carlson plays it back to the point, covered up there by Sherry. Belmar and Palat looking to clear. Tampa Bay gets its wish. And that stat that you just mentioned surprises me because usually when you're high-octane offense, you gamble and you get a lot of opportunities because you do gamble and give away the puck. Not the case last year and coming into this season. Sherry, short side, blocked off there by Chernak. As Carlson will get things reorganized. Ferravari always looking to gallop up ahead. Protus with a long reach. Carlson helping out. 
Protus finds Carlson down low. Bad save, and Vasilevsky covers. Beautiful eyes by Protus to find John Carlson sneaking behind everybody. He was looking like a big-time left winger. Looked a little like, bit like OV hanging out over there. Check out Carlson. He's ready to go back, then he elects to stay in. Good coverage by Protus, and good job by McDonough. McDonough took some of the starts off of that shot. I think everybody was surprised because John had to go from in his feet to his blade. By that time, it had already been poked a little bit by McDonough. He can't believe that going to the bench. 20-year-old Alexi Protus, who tried to set up Carlson there a few moments ago. 58 games in the KHL last year, Locker. That'll help you grow up. <laughs> it sure would. Washington actually traded up with New Jersey to take Protus in the 2019 draft. Jensen swings away from Sorelli. Sorelli often like a dog on a bone when it comes to the forecheck. 640 remaining in the middle frame. Two on the board for Tampa, giving them the lead. Wilson tried to skip through center. Nothing there. Kalorn ventures back to play with Sorelli's assist. No Nikita Kucherov recovering from recent surgery. Point driving in. Kucherov is normally his right wing. Off the turnover, Ovechkin has an alleyway. Alex Ovechkin closing, settles on the toe drag. Had it blocked by Sergachev as McMichael was going to the far post. I sure thought that hit the meshing above the glass, but play continues. That Ovechkin shot was redirected by everybody. Great center drive, and Ovi tried to pull up and rip it. Van Riemsdyk marching back through center with Schultz as he'll sprinkle this one in. Schuster watches Maroon there. They get on the same page. Nice takeaway by Sprong. McMichael on the hunt for that loose biscuit as McDonough floats it to center. Schultz moves it along for McMichael, crossing over McDonough at the ready. Maroon powering down the wing on a chip and chase. Mantha will take him arm in arm to the boards. Colton, who had the cup clincher for Tampa Bay in the playoffs last year. I thought he played extremely well. I mean, that was a huge goal. Snapshot that trickles wide, working with the veterans Maroon and Perry on his wings. We near the five-minute mark remaining in the second. Capitals held off the board this frame. Their lone strike came 73 seconds into the contest from Brett Leeson. Joseph sets to the outside. That pass intended for Stamkos, who was alone at the heart of the Washington D. Stamkos gets it back, force-feeding foot. Boxed away by Hathaway. Haglin motors wide. Carl Haglin. Trailer. Slap shot broken up. Rebound. Doorstep for Eller. Then Haglin in a sprawling. Vasilevsky does it again. Yeah, they were all over Vasilevsky. They had a play set up, and good coverage once again by their netminder. He lost his goalie stick went full snowplow to make that save. The Caps are really skating, I'll tell you what. I mean, that center drive by Hathaway is hard work. They're putting a lot of heat on Tampa Bay when they do come on the attack. Lightning faithful inside Amelie Arena, saluting that netminder, the outstanding Vasilevsky, the Conn Smythe Trophy winner of a season ago. They call him Vazzy, they also call him Big Cat. And he was big in the net, and he has been in this hockey game against the Caps. Look at Hathaway coming right into your living room. Talk about hard work. And that allows the follow-up guy, and it hits it right in the rump of the defenseman foot who keeps that puck out of the net. Didn't even get to Vasilevsky, but a good job by Eller on the slap shot and right into the butt of foot. The follow-up can't put it home along with Haglin on a sharp angle. Vasilevsky was there for that last chance. Radish's wrister. Deflected wide of the goal. Four minutes to play. Five on five action. Milestone night for Vasilevsky, as you can tell, top of the screen. Leeson, who beat him in the first with a wrister that was deflected in off of a lightning defender. Stuff a temper Protus at the doorstep did not convert. Good shift here for Washington. Barry Boulay cut off by John Carlson. Alex Sparry Boulay lost the handle there to Connor Sherry. Round and round he goes. Sherry with neat moves below the goal line. Topside Orloff Brister through the traffic. Taken by Pierre Edouard Belmont. 
And that's so great for Connor when he works below the goal line. It doesn't matter how big the defensemen are. He's able to weasel his way around them. He's so shifty and he can turn on a dime. And they've got some big rigs back there. He's able to create some offense when he's working down below the bottom of the circle. Just past the bottom of the hour. That's Craig Lachlan. I'm Joe Beninati. We are three minutes now away from Integrate Intermission Live. Alexa Landeskoy and Alan May in the studio nearby where we are calling this one tonight as Sorelli hoists it back through center. Kalorn in a battle with Orloff. Dimitri wins that, sends in Sprong, then Mantha. Mantha fires, pad save, Vasilevsky. Jensen on the back pedal. Orloff off the head fake. Braden Point stayed with him. Orloff winds and drives. That's a scorcher. McMichael's centering pass goes unanswered as Kalorn scoops away and clears. They're just happy to scoop the puck out of the zone. The Caps have tilted the ice the last 10 minutes here of the second period. Evgeny Kuznetsov rolls it out there for Mantha. Anthony finds it along the wall, retracing his steps. Tom Wilson bracketed by Hedman and Perry. Ross Colton angled by Schultz. Wilson gets back into the fray. Maroon centering pass deflected by Vanacek. High to the glass. Maroon walks it back to the point. Long drive. Sergachev had that one click away, and Wilson strolls back through center. Kuznetsov to a vacant wing. Wilson worked over there with Sergachev. Final 135 in period two. This will come on down. No icing here. Carlson sends it out to the turning Kuznetsov as he glides into the zone, leaves it for Ovechkin. His drive right to the gut of Vasilevsky. We'll step away, take this TV timeout, get you back for the final 80 seconds. 2 1, Bolts. Peter Labulette's troops on the road this week. Down in Florida, first stop Tampa, a 2 1 lead for the Lightning. Florida Panthers on the horizon. The Panthers are 5-0 and at home so far this season. 8-0-1 overall. They're the highest scoring team coming into tonight's action. They have 36 goals so far. Capitals turning up the heat on Andre Vasilevsky, but the big man stands tall in goal for Tampa. Keeps this a one-goal lead for the home team with 1.15 to go in the second. Back-to-back -back good goalies, right? Bobrovsky's playing extremely well in Florida. We've seen the rookie Spencer Knight from time to time as well for... Florida Panthers, highly regarded young netminder. Stepping in, Belmar with a wrister that's blocked as we uh, trickle into the Chicken McNugget minute. We'll get a free six-piece McNugget with a minimum $1 purchase if the Caps score in the last minute of any regulation period. As Alex Ovechkin did uh, a few nights back, hungry Caps fans were rewarded, Locker. <laughs> that's a nice thing to have, buddy. It's a great way to celebrate. That's not all, too. Everybody can find even more great daily deals exclusively on the McDonald's app. And John Carlson's number leads the team, as always, since his tenure here in Washington. Always over 23 minutes, it seems. Picking up five points in his eight games to date. A season ago, Washington and Tampa Bay were numbers one and two in the NHL. The best teams in the league when it came to one-goal decisions. We're in a one-goal game right now with Tampa Bay on top. Goals from Kalorn and Sorelli giving them the lead. This is off of the rink. It was deflected, so there'll be no delay of game. Pretty good draw there by point once again, trying to get it back to Sergachev or Hedman. Hedman always in the running for the Norris Trophy. He's a big rig, big wingspan, can skate like the wind. He's already won it once. I'm not sure he's not going to win it another time in his career. He won it in 2018, 30-year-old Swede. Approaching Integrate Intermission Live are we with the 38 seconds in this period. McDonough to the boards. It's chopped back onto the Washington side. Schultz takes the handoff from Vanacek. Flushed out by Kalorn. Turnover here. Sorelli. Then point. Point back to the point, if you will. McDonough fires and it's chested down. Held by Vanacek. Tough break out there by Justin Schultz. He was caught on his backhand and he clicked it to the corner. And it was well read by Tampa on the four check. They're asking there should have been maybe a cross check there in the corner. They didn't get it. Here's Sorelli, a little chip pass. They think this one right there 
by Kuznetsov should have been called. It wasn't called on the cross check because he didn't go down. And that point shot, another body blow. These goalies have good positioning here tonight. Locker filed this under things that have to change. Tampa Bay, the last 28 times they've led after two. 28, zero and zero. You just ruined my intermission. No, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> things are bound to change. You got it. Belmar trying to win the draw against Eller. Lightning team has been terrific, protecting a 40-minute lead. Six seconds away from having that advantage at the break. With the two goals that they scored in the first nine minutes of period two, giving them the lead as Hathaway gets into it at the final horn with Belmar. He's known to do that once or twice. He's one of those guys that's in the middle of everything late in the period. He doesn't mind it. He plays right to the final whistle or buzzer. Some heated talks there at the end. Hedman saying, let's go. Little shot to Belmar, a defensive specialist. Let's see what happens here at the end. Here's a nice move coming out of the zone by Jensen. Little push there at the end by Hathaway and to Belmar. Make sure he keeps the left hand, then gives him a face wash and a couple of punches ensue. Shouldn't be any penalties. I thought you were talking about the guy in the front row there. The <laughs> yeah. first row guy throwing punches at the glass. <laughs> Boy, that's getting into it. Hathaway and the Caps in this 2-1 game. It's been an entertaining hockey game. Really good one tonight. This Monday evening on NBC Sports Washington, we are at the break with Tampa in front by one. Great chance at the start of the second period. Vasilevsky was magnificent. His teammates would respond. It's 2-1 Tampa. Integrate intermission live. We're sending you from one studio to the next. Alexa Landestoy and Alan May. In Flying high over Tampa, Florida. Caps are inside of Emily Arena. To tangle with the Lightning, it's 2-1 Tampa Bay after two. For more Wizards and Caps analysis, highlights, and exclusive interviews, check out the My Teams app. Open your camera app, scan the QR code on your screen, download the My Teams app, then choose your favorite team, in this case, obviously, the Wizards and Caps, and you'll have access to our exclusive Wiz Caps content anywhere, anytime. Joe and Craig with you from our DC studios. Caps and bolts back to the playing service. Before we start the third period, let's revisit some PenFed trivia. The top four guys to score goals all time against the Lightning at one point have played for the Caps. Can you name them? We got three. We both agreed on Yager, Ovi, and Peter Bonner. We don't have the fourth. Uh, I believe the fourth could be either Ilya Kovalchuk or Alex Semin. I'll go with Kovalchuk. And there you're it is. Correct. There it is. That's a pretty good foursome. <laughs> the Russian five and Peter Bondra. Gonch. I see Gonch. Yeah. I see Ilya. Yeah. Pretty, pretty talented play. Russian yes. players there. Gonch is part of the Olympic team, I think. The Russian uh, Olympic team. Both of them are, so they're probably looking at Ovi and everybody who's already been picked anyways. Plus, they're buddies with him. Dmitry Orlov has to be in mind. Mm -hmm. Potentially, I wouldn't yeah. I wouldn't be surprised to see Orlov play with Sergachev as a defensive pair. Absolutely. Both of those guys Good are call. on the ice tonight. Good call. Blue jerseyed Bolts have a 2-1 lead. Kalorn and Sorelli struck before the second period was nine minutes old. Brett Leeson has his first NHL marker. He came back in the opening period and glanced in off of a Tampa Bay defender past Andre Vasilevsky who's been his usual dynamite self in this game. Wilson knocked down. Wilson Kuznetsov Ovechkin out there to start things in the third with Caps in come from behind mode. Braden Point jets to the outside, throws some snow at Faravari, overlapping with Chernak. A take back for Washington, Kuznetsov through center. Tape to tape for Wilson, made the drop pass, but Sorelli was hunting that. And Sorelli should have time to clean. And they had pretty good numbers back. That puck's got to go in deep instead of turning it over. It was a four on three, but they had good coverage. Caps got to get it in, just like TVR told you. They got to get it in behind their D as you talk to them during the intermission. Tampa Bay has won its last two outings, improving to 4-3-1 and one in the process. Just one win in four tries here on home ice, icing against the Capitals. 
there's that slash play, a little indirect off the wall. Wilson in the neutral zone. Nice feed there to Kuznetsov. The one thing Kuznetsov's doing a lot better this season is getting back to this speed game and hitting the lanes at the right time. And it comes down to timing. You've got to hit the seam perfectly at the end of that play. You say Wilson getting crushed into the wall. Face-off win for the Caps. Orloff comes barreling out of his own zone. Crossing over away from Stamkos on the dump in. On one skip right to Vasilevsky, he'll hang on. Big Schuster right there in front of him, number 29. A little note on him as he gives a little push right there to Garnet Hathaway. One of our guys that was on the Pen Fed trivia, Peter Bondra. Oh, yeah. His son David played with Schuster for a couple of seasons for the Beijing Red Star, who played in the KHL. Short road trips. Very short road <laughs> trips. I think that's why David got out of there. Oh. Those poor guys would be traveling for days and days and hours upon hours. Yeah, David played over there and enjoyed it. Very good play. Jensen lets it fly. That was knocked down in front. Maroon was in the shooting channel as he's badgered by Anthony Mantha. Mantha swivels one back behind the cage. Five on five, these two teams are working. 2-1 Tampa Bay. Almost two minutes into the third. Washington will stay in Florida. They'll get set for a Thursday night matchup with the Florida Panthers. We'll have that for you on NBC Sports Washington. Orloff has some room, uncorks this one right to the shoulder of Vasilevsky. Orloff stole the outlet pass. Neat moves from Dimitri. Hanging out behind the cage. All the way to the point for Jensen. Jensen skipping around. Dangerous there. Take away Perry. Corey Perry was erased by Jensen. Maroon locked up with Orloff. Maroon centering pass just jammed wide. Perry bum rushed by Jensen. Maroon looks to stuff. Eller was waiting for him at the post. On a night when Washington continues to be without Nicholas Backstrom and TJ Oshie, as well as Nick Dowd, Washington scratching Hendricks LaPierre, Matt Irwin, and Dennis Cholosky, all his healthy scratches. Belmar feeds. That was behind Radish. Golfed at by Haglin. It'll tumble to center. McMichael away from Alex Bariboule. McMichael right to the cage. Stop there. Vasilevsky with another beauty on the blocker side. Yeah, he's just not giving anything to the Washington Capitals. They've had enough high-quality chances, and I would say more so than Tampa Bay. They've outdone them when it comes to high-quality opportunities. It's been Vasilevsky. This game eerily similar to the one back on the 16th. Point right on in. Braden point converts. Transition speed on display. That happens, it seems, in every NHL game. A miss at one end leads to a counter-attack attack at the other, and Braden Point has his fourth goal of the season. Last year, at 23 markers. This time, a quick burst of speed coming in and firing it as he's moving laterally. It looked like it went through the body of the Capitals netminder. Look at the quick sprint speed of Braden Point. And he buries it. And 100 points in my mind for a guy like Braden Point are not going to be out of the question. There it is going seven hole between the body and the blocker. And it's a two goal lead for the home team. All for this season for Braden Point at even strength. Radish gets the uh, primary assist on the tally that comes at 256. Washington in the two goal deficit. Ovechkin marked by Chernak. Keep it on the boards for Wilson in a board battle there with McDonough. Ovechkin comes to help. McDonough trickles it along, and here comes Point again. As this is skied back into the Washington zone. Kuznetsov there, along with Faravari, to put a crunch on to Point. There's a penalty coming up. It's a hold. It's going to go against Kuznetsov as he wrapped his arm around Braden Point as he tried to wiggle his way out of two caps defenders. Kuznetsov doesn't like the call, but he will go to the shin bin for two minutes. It's a hold just at the top of the circle. Braden Point on that high sky puck picks it up along the wall. Here's Kuznetsov, the good body, but watch him get that arm right around his shoulder, and he gives him a tug. Backside of referee right on the goal line immediately throws up his hand, holding his call. Washington had a clean penalty kill locker the last couple of games prior to tonight. They've already given up a five on three PPG, and now this is the most critical penalty kill of the evening. 
have to keep this a two-goal deficit on enemy ice. Jensen slams it around the curve and out. Plenty of time left in regulation. Man advantage number four for the Bolts. Braden Point skipping through center. Back check there by Haglin. Of NHL forwards last year, there was only one who had more ice time shorthanded than Carl. He gets a lot of work, a man down. Eller stepped on that puck there. It foiled him. Killorn goes the other way. Alex Killorn skimming on the boards. Alex Barre Boulay for Stamkos. Killorn next. Barre Boulay camped out in front. Stamkos the captain. Deal it up top to Hedman. Switch it for point. Alex Barre Boulay. Braden point. Hedman once more. Deliberately on the perimeter. Barre Boulay for Stamkos. Hedman fires. That hit traffic in front. Wilson was injured there. Tom was hit up high. He's stunned. Hedman isolates. Speed. Ripped high by Barre Boulay. Kept in by Hedman. Looked like he had a little daylight. That top shelf just whizzed it wide. One-time blast. A sliding defensive play made there by Jensen. 45 seconds left for Washington to endure. Centering pass blocked by Van Riemsdyk and cleared. You talk about making sacrifices. If you're on the penalty killing unit in the National Hockey League, you sacrifice any part of your body to make a real good block. And that's exactly what Wilson did as he took that slapper. On the advance, Sorelli toe drag move. Not going to get around Carlson. He'll clear it. Washington, the number five team in the league when it comes to goals per game. 3.75. They're going to need at least three to track down Tampa tonight. An early third period goal from Braden Point has given the locals the two goal advantage. Colton stops up. Cross rink. Palat. Centering pass. Gloved by Vanacek. Push and shove in front of the net. It seems like every play after every play, there's some pushing and shoving. A lot of stuff happening around the goaltenders here in this hockey game, right in front of the paint. Here's that last play coming down, that one-timer. Here comes a shot from Hedman, and that just ricocheted. That could have been going into the net. Big-time ricochet, big-time collision to the right side of the screen. Wilson taking the brunt of that. Just four seconds left in the minor to Kuznetsov. The penalty kill that Washington had to have is almost complete. Pierre-Edouard Belmar. Tampa Bay, the fourth different team with which he's worked. Lars Eller is set to face off for Washington. Gets it cleanly. John Carlson will clear it out. We're back to five on five with 14 and a half to go in regulation. A long clear down. Schultz tried to reverse it. Belmar took that ice away. Swiftly back through center on the run. Faravari on the interchange with Kuznetsov. Towards the front. Knocked down by Vasilevsky. Belmar clamps onto it. Shuffles it out there for Joseph. Joseph getting to the outside on Sprong. Two speedy wingers combining to the corner. <laughs> the referee took the brunt of that hit. Long drive. Sergachev deflected. Stopped in front. Faravari putters it back out. Three unanswered goals for Tampa Bay after Brett Leeson gave Washington a very early lead in this contest. Ovechkin cross rink. Picking up Sprong, angled and finished by Perry. Ovechkin bothered in the corner, wrapped up with McDonough and Colton. Long wrister sails wide, and Vasilevsky snares it off the backboards for the TV timeout. 6.36 gone by in the third. Tampa Bay has improved its lead. Locker, we begin the month of November, a month in which hockey, the NHL especially, promotes its Hockey Fights Cancer program. Started in 1998, has raised over $15 million. Hockey Fights Cancer is a huge initiative, and the ambassador this year is none other than Dominic Moore, who spent 13 years in the National Hockey League. Odd man rush developing for Kalorn. Kalorn pulls the trigger, stopped by Vanacek. He needed that one there as Wilson gets involved after the whistle. And he's involved with Sorelli, who went hard to the net. And it looks like the official saying, hey, boys, you're both going to go. I think they could give cross checks to either of them. We'll see if he makes any calls or he's just going to call a face off. 
Uh, Wilson and Sorelli both get into it after that play ended. Here it is, the breakout. Kalorn calls his own number. Offside winger has a good lane to the net. The shot trying to beat Vanacek, blocker side. And there's the ensuing scrum at the end between Sorelli and Tom Wilson. One more look at Kalorn. He's riding a hot hockey stick. He's already scored one goal. He's got seven goals on the season. Leaving, to, leaving Tampa Bay. That's a beautiful look mm -hmm. on that replay of how a goalie has to get his arms connected quickly to the side of his body because you darn shooters keep looking for those <laughs> six and seven holes. I know, nothing's open anymore. That was never the case back in the day. You try to pick the corners and now it's more in tight. It's more closer to the body. You try to shoot the puck. Great look, great example of a fine goalie stop there from Vanacek. John Carlson. Keeps it on the woodwork for Connor Sherry. Sherry deals to Lars Eller. Eller looking to Mantha. Anthony Mantha's feed back to the point. Stepping in, Carlson fires. Rejected by Vasilevsky. The big cat and goal for Tampa Bay. Playing confidently tonight. Ferravari drills that one wide. Hedman pounding it off the boards as we get the whistle. There's a penalty call coming. Yeah, and it's obviously going against Tampa Bay. And it might be going to the guy that swatted that puck into the corner. Edmonds going off, and the Caps have a chance to get back in this hockey game with a power play. He's saying, get in the box before I give you another one so he can make the call. There's the holding call against Hedman. Here it is down low. Hedman's right in front of the net. Watch him step up. He's gonna step up right in front. We'll see if he collects him. And right there on Lars Eller, just spins him around in the corner. A ticky-tack call, but the Caps will take it. But there's that left hand. He grabbed, he let go, thought he would get away with it. He did not. More vital special teams work now for Washington, this time on the power play side. They look for their first road PPG of the season. Oh, for the first six away from Capital One Arena. As Carlson advances through center, looking for the NHL's goal-scoring leader, Alex Ovechkin whose nets off elevates the pass for Wilson. Spied there by McDonough. Chernak didn't get it out. Whose nets off plays top side. Yevgeny Kuznetsov feeds it for Wilson. Poke check by Joseph. And Belmar sends Washington away. That is a perfect designed swarm against the Caps. Anytime the puck is moved along the dash or along the wall, all four guys shift to one side. They snuffed out the buffer pass and able to quickly clear it down the ice. Kuznetsov wandering back through center. Snaps it hard around. Vasilevsky never left the crease. All the way to the point. There's Carlson with uh, one minute to go on the power play as Tampa clears to center. Ovechkin waiting at the line. He'll brush it in. Sherry looking after it along with Wilson. Around she comes and right out. Tampa Bay clears. Just about too deliberate by the Washington Capitals here on this important power play. They're not going to get many more. They need to get some chances here, get a little mojo going. Bolts were three for three on the kill against Whoa. Arizona. Look out as Vanacek gets back there to cover <laughs> up. Bolts were three for three on the kill against the Coyotes, trying to go three for three against uh, Washington tonight in the next 27 seconds. Joseph shovels to Sergachev, and he'll clear. Way too easy of a penalty kill at a critical time against the Caps' power play. Schultz, second wave on the man advantage. Deals to Lars Eller. As Eller will flutter it into the corner. Sprong checking over the shoulder. McDonough there to grapple with him. McDonough gets a lot of the heavy lifting for John Cooper. Ovechkin, long range, right to the guts of Vasilevsky. Yeah, Spronger would have liked to got a piece of his stick on that shot. Ovi right to the belly again. That's going to be his third or fourth shot that has hit the crest of Vasilevsky. Give the guy credit. He's world class, one of the best, if not the best. Look at him push out now. He's got Sprong in front. The way he's taken that puck, it's amazing to me. That's top called cushioning the puck. There's no rebounds coming off. We often say he doesn't necessarily do his best, Vasilevsky, that is, against Ovechkin and the Caps. He's only five, six, and one career against Washington. And his goals against the save percentage are way below his career average against everyone else. Think back to the conference final in the 2018 Stanley Cup run. As Haglund fires, that was blocked. The Caps were able to get the better of Vasilevsky in that best of seven. But in the two games so far this season, you can make the case he's been the number one star. 
even though Sorelli has three points tonight, factoring in on all three Tampa Bay goals. Moving to the midway mark of the third. Jensen, snapshot, sails high and wide. Orloff, high slot Hagler. Jensen, Hathaway one time, a bad save for Vasilevsky. Hagler chasing it down. Long drive again, knocked down in front by Hedman. Jensen slams to a stop away from Palat. Hagler muscled by Schuster, all six foot seven of them. Centering pass, Alex Barre Boulay defending, and he'll bring it back to center. Barre Boulay never drafted lately in board. And twice waiting on a waiver wire, two weeks later, he's picked right back up. When since Seattle was getting settled there, and then he would put it on waivers by Seattle and quickly put it back on the roster for Tampa Bay. They picked him right back up. Very rarely do you see an MVP of the Quebec Major Junior League not drafted. <laughs> yeah. Colton on the go. Snapshot. Blockered down by Banachek. He spins the rebound to the boards with 9-10 to play in period three. 3-1 three, Tampa. Washington took the lead in the first two minutes of the game thanks to Brett Leeson. Since then, all bolts. Perry takes his man down. And the arm of the referee comes up. Banachek exits. Six on five. Delayed call against Tampa Bay. And he knew it right away. The veteran in offensive zone penalty. The Caps need to... Make sure they collect one here. Carlson, Washington in possession, so there's the delayed penalty. Mantha clears in, touched up by Kalorn, and Tampa goes shorthanded. And it's an easy call against the veteran, Corey Perry. Important PPG coming up for the Caps to collect this one. Tampa Bay has kept the grade eight under wraps so far. 3-1 Lightning with 8.37 to go in the third period. This evening's league leaders, they're brought to you by Toyota. Locker, these boys turning on the red light quite a bit. Yeah, you take a look at Ovi. And Kalorna, four years younger than Ovi, but the rest of the guys more than 10 years younger. McDavid, Manjapani, Svechnikov, Kopitar, Kreider, Connor, and Lindholm round out our Toyota League leaderboard. All goals, and it belongs to Ovi. Two better than anybody. Alex, beginning this season with an eight-game point-scoring streak, has not to put his name on the score sheet just yet, but now would be an opportune time on a power play for Washington. Perry in the box for tripping. With nets off Sherry, Wilson, Ovechkin, and Carlson out there in white. John Carlson bluffs the slapper, finds Kuznetsov. Joseph trying to get it off of his stick quickly. Kuznetsov feeds down low, score! Sherry in tights. That's what I wanted to see on that last power play that didn't do much. They get the face-off draw, they keep puck possession, and Connor Sherry, we've been talking about him wanting to get on the board. He's got his first of the season. Carlson, Kuznetsov, Connor Sherry, they work a give and go on one side. Ovi's being really covered on the far side, and that is a wonderful pass by Evgeny Kuznetsov. The goal all read, Sherry from Kuznetsov and Carlson right in the paint for a redirect. It looks like this is the only way you're going to beat the goaltender. Vasilevsky is in tight on a beautiful pass. Kuzi on the board once again with its eighth assist. Washington breaks through on the power play on the road. 11.38, the time of the tally. As Locker dictated to you, Sherry from Kuznetsov and Carlson making this very entertaining and interesting down the stretch with 8.10 to go in the third. Sherry with points in three of his last four games. Picking up his first marker of the young season. On this, the first day of November, just two other games going on on the NHL slate. Orloff bombs away. That just missed. Jensen taking the boards away from Maroon. Haglin will send it on around. Orloff, too, scampering in. Five players in the picture for Washington. Haglin, then Orloff. Haglund to the goal mouth. Vasilevsky with the active stick there to intercept and help clear for Sergachev. Laviolette wanted to make sure they keep on the heat. That's why he threw out this line, and they sure did. A nifty play down in the corner to start the whole attack by Hathaway. He had to skate on the puck, and he directed his teammates where to go, and that created the offense they were looking for, the important shift after a goal, and they just about tied it up. Maroon was on his way to the bench. Officials are bringing him across the way. And it looks like Garnet Hathaway may be doing the same. 
That's going to open up the ice for these guys. Roughing each will be doled out, so a lot of room available with 7.26 to go for Lavi and company trying to tie this game up. That call made by referee uh, Peter McDougall. He works tonight with Justin St. Pierre, Killian McNamara, and David Riesbois on the lines. Matching minors here. John Cooper is about to get to see a four on four with a little bit less than seven and a half to play in the third. John Cooper, Team Canada's coach, coming up at the Olympics. He was named that recently, a couple of cups in a row for Cooper, and he's named Team Canada's bench box. Ten seasons now as a head coach with Tampa Bay Lightning. The most tenured coach in the National Hockey League. Sorelli has a goal and two assists. He'll wander back through center, then lose it to Faravari. Faravari using the end boards with help from Schultz. Faravari posted up behind Vanacek. Control breakout now on the four on four. Kuznetsov bluffs it. They come out this side for Schultz. Schultz in tight quarters with Ovechkin offside on the rush. Yeah, good bluff behind the net. They knew they were coming, did not want Kuzi to pick up that puck. In that instance, Locker, who's telling you as the center iceman Kuznetsov to take it or leave it? Kuzi's already reading that the guy's going to be angling him, and the defenseman then has the opportunity and reads the play because it's in front of him. And he reads the play saying, if I give it to Kuzi, I'm in trouble. It almost looks like a quarterback read option in football and that you're reading Correct. the mess point. Correct. But I always wonder, at high speed in hockey, who makes that call? It's the guy with the puck, and he realizes that four checker was ready to jump on Kuznetsov, and that was Braden Point, who's very quick in that situation. As this is pitched back onto the Washington side, of center we get the six and a half to go in a real good one from Tampa inside Amelie Arena approaching the bottom of the hour Washington with a power play goal a few moments ago from this man Connor Sherry making it a one goal game Orloff tried to return it to Sherry Sergachev with a stick in the way that's a beautiful deflection by Sergachev you put down your stick you prevent that pass Sherry was wide open I'm not sure where the coverage was it was missing on this four on four for another 45 seconds they play four on four McDonough to the turning Joseph. Shifting gears on Mantha and Wilson. Joseph drags it to the corner. He's got lots of gears in his skating, doesn't yeah, he? Yeah, he does. McDonough fires. That's blocked. Vanacek sees it all the way into the corner. Joseph, the first man to it, shoved away by Nick Jensen. Wilson angles it through center. Mantha's going to leave it back. Jensen takes it in stride. Nick Jensen on the go, beautiful moves end to end. Tried to get the backhand triggered, tied up with McDonough. Jensen already with a couple of goals this season. He's feeling it, isn't he? End to end rush. His first NHL assist came in his first NHL game in this very building with Detroit back in the day. Chernak through center. Hedman offers it on through Kalorn and down. Vanacek will get involved, helping out Carlson. Through the middle there, Sergachev did not keep it in. That's offside against Tampa Bay. One more TV timeout and regulation. We'll get you back for this one's exciting conclusion. The Capitals trail by one with just about five minutes to go in this game. That's Bruce Rudrow, Alan May. I'm Alexa Lannistoy. We're coming up on Capitals postgame live. Make sure you stick around. We're breaking down this game. Looking ahead to the Panthers. And also, you got an interview with Randy Moeller. So what do the Capitals need to do, though, to close this one out in the third period? Well, we've talked about it. They've had some great high-danger chances. They've just got to capitalize. Yeah, they've just got to get net presence now because Vazzy's stopped and everything he can see. So get to the net, and hopefully you get a greasy one before the game's over. Hopefully the Capitals can get one. Joe, back over to you. All righty, Alexa and uh, Alan and Bruce, we look forward to your musings once we're through. Presented by the D.C. area Acura dealers. I like Gabby's idea. Get a greasy one late. Why not? Bruce center Ovechkin with Wilson on the attack. Bumped there by Chernak. Washington funnels out of the corner. Who's nets off tied up with Chernak and Sorelli. Four minutes and 35 seconds left in the third. Braden Point has the lead goal for the moment for Tampa Bay. It came in the third period. Radish picked up the assist for his first NHL point. Kalorn sends it on back. 
on a night when Brett Leeson has scored his first NHL goal for Washington. Colton sifting through the traffic. Schultz with a good step up. Orloff takes it back for Washington. Around she comes to Daniel Sprong. Sprong's goal came on the road. Beautiful breakaway finish in New Jersey earlier in the season back in October. Orloff rushing this ahead. Sherry not going far as Maroon had him tied up. Schultz plays it ahead. Eller staying strong on his stick. Maroon forces him back. Yeah, Maroon had good positioning there. He had his stick in the middle. The Caps trying to find open ice between the docks. This is launched back behind Vasilevsky. Hedman to it. The Bolts ice time leader gave it up. Van Riemsdyk slapper was blocked. Three and a half to go. Hedman lobbing this back onto the Washington side of the table. The long stretch for Sprong. Play it back to Van Riemsdyk. Mantha through center. Drives it in. Chernak plays it. Golfed on around. Nice job, Jensen. They're taking the boards away quickly. Fighting through the check of McDonough with 2.55 to go. Ovechkin locked up in the corner. Stamkos right there. Captain to captain. As Joseph hoists it back, Jensen will retreat. Palat right there in his grill. 2.40 to go. Van Riemsdyk steady. Plays it on. Jensen pounds it off the boards. Tampa Bay locking up that neutral zone. Yeah, they got to get the goalie out sooner rather than later. They just need pressure. Get it to center and get it in and get him out. Yevgeny Kuznetsov clears it to the back wall. Hedman gets there first. Kalorn chasing. Carlson knew it was coming. He'll place it back to the other point. Ferravari operates there. Kuznetsov has the defender hung up. Carlson lets it go. Deflected wide. Two and change to play in the third. Big hit. Chernak rocked Ferravari. Those two good buddies. Kuznetsov plays it around. Carlson or, or Ovechkin. Ferravari feeds again. Blocked away by point. Kalorn will clear. Sorelli using the dasher. Puts it back on the Washington side. Vanacek still in there with the 140 to go. Eller racing through center. Full sprint, beautiful stick handling moves. Gets it below the goal line. Sherry there as the Caps get the goaltender off. Six attackers on. Palak lobbing it back to center. Schultz there for Washington. Belmar in a log jam at center with 115 to play right now. Long clearing effort. Orloff has to wait for the Caps to get back on side. He did not. Offside Washington. Folks, tonight's powerful connection brought to you by Xfinity x -Fi. It's internet that's more than just fast. Take a look at the Capitals tonight. Caps 2019 top three draft picks. Connor McMichael, three shots on goal. Brett Leeson has his first career NHL goal. And way to go, Protus, his NHL debut. Some youngsters and youth inserted into the lineup here on the road against Tampa. Timeout call for by Washington with 1.11 to go in the third. As Peter Laviolette, Scott Arneal, Kevin McCarthy pace back behind the Washington bench. Caps, if you're just tuning in with us, a 1-0 advantage early. Assistant coach Blaine Forsyth gathers the guy around for an offensive discussion. 1-0 Leeson for Washington. Kalorn and Surly made it 2-1 Tampa after two. Point improved the lead to two at 2.56. Sherry on the man advantage at 11.38. That brings us where we stand as Coach Cooper goes through his lecture. Yep, lecture more about defense and making sure you have sticks and lanes on the capital side. Use your six guys, three guys on the puck at all time. Keep pucks alive. And as we know, this team has been over the last couple of years very good in six on five situations trying to tie up the ball game. Had a quick peek there. Jeff Halpern, the former mm -hmm. Capitals captain on the bench, assistant coach for Tampa. Rob Settler as well, another former cap under the guidance of John Cooper. Kalorn hustling to a loose biscuit. 
Banachek, as you can tell, back between the pipes with 60 seconds to play in this one. And Kuzi needs a new stick. His stick snapped in half, and there's the remnants to the right of Banachek. We are in the McNugget minute. That point position. McDonough sends it wide. Banachek sprawls to beat Kalorn. John Carlson will advance the puck for Kuznetsov. Wilson, nice touch. Kuznetsov, one more. Eller off the outside of the cage and maybe the headgear of Vasilevsky. McDonough snaps it around the turnstile. Didn't get it out just yet. 28 seconds to play. Sherry pouncing on that for Washington. Kuznetsov turns. Top side, Carlson. Carlson towards the cage, angled there by McDonough. Kuznetsov, Wilson bumps it. Carlson leans in for a blast that goes wide. Ovechkin takes the rebound. Ten seconds left right now. Ovechkin moves to the middle. Had it blocked by Palat. Carlson with six seconds. Now five. Corner work for Eller. Three seconds now. Two. Kuznetsov lets it go. And it's off the outside of the cage with a whistle and point one to play. And Kuzi trying to be a referee there down in the corner. We'll see if there's any more time left. And that's what the referee just pointed. Referees making sure the time's going to be good. Look at this shot. That's good sailing. Look at that. Coming right in. A right shoulder stop. He has been tremendous through mazes here in this hockey game. Right positioning. He doesn't crunch on the butterfly. He stays really up high. And he's a big goaltender. He doesn't crunch down. That allowed that puck to sizzle off his right shoulder. Caps will need a righty to go towards the cage here on this draw. They'll ask Tom Wilson to do it. Remember, the puck would have to be across the goal line completely before 0 0 0 for it to count. Belmar going to try and make that a moot point as Ovechkin was well ahead of the play. And Chernak playing one on one with him, and Wilson's going to have a talk with him the way he handled Alex Ovechkin off that faceoff. Alex tried to fight through him, was taken down by Chernak. 3-2 Tampa Bay. As late as you can possibly get in regulation. Another missed draw. They're timing it up. He faked it, though. It looked like the linesman faked that draw. Wilson's going to slap it right towards the cage, you would think. Kuznetsov was cheating in that neutral area. They'll toss Wilson as a result. Ovechkin gets in there to take it. Alex won a draw against Arizona a couple nights ago. Goes towards the cage with that one. It's blocked. And now Chernak and Wilson are going to go at the final horn. And that's all because of what he did to Alex Ovechkin on the previous draw. He just wanted to make sure he gave him a talking to. He grabbed him. Not a whole lot. And sues out of this. And the Capitals will fall on the road to Tampa Bay. The Washington Capitals suffering their first regulation time loss of the season. Falling to the Bolts by the final of 3-2. It's a good hockey game. Here it is off the draw. Alex taking it, trying to whip it to the net. And there's Wilson giving him a couple of cross checks. He drops the stick. Wilson and him and Sue and are grappling behind the net. And the linesman quickly makes sure uh, calmer heads prevail as the Tampa Bay Lightning win a tight one, 3-2. Bolts off the bench to congratulate Vasilevsky. Washington steps out of Amelie Arena. They will get the Florida Panthers on Thursday. Locker, this was a real good hockey game. Mm -hmm. In your estimation, I think I know where you're going with this, but what was the difference? Um, I didn't like the one power play, to be honest with you. I didn't think it got a momentum. They got back in the game, but to me, the biggest difference was you had a guy named Big Cat that was <laughs> six foot by four feet, and he just didn't allow anything. Talk about a goaltender that controlled rebounds. I haven't seen him like that all season long. His leg work, I was going to mention during the telecast, and you know this, being a former goaltender, his leg work was exquisite against those low shots. Fantastic athlete. Vasilevsky, the winner tonight with Tampa Bay as we get to our crossover that's brought to you by WebEx by Cisco. Joe Beninati, Craig Lachlan in one studio as we see the gang in the other. And we're going to start with a question to Alan May as we usually do. Uh, Alan, the tempo in this hockey game was fun to watch. What makes a Washington-Tampa Bay game so exciting? Well, it is that. It's tempo. There's physical play at all times. Players with high skill levels making physical contact, pursuing the puck. But just to follow up on you guys, Joe, you know, you being a goalie and everything, the big thing here, a Gee, guy thanks. your size, one of the things we, we want to see, I didn't think the Caps did a good job on the power play the other night and five on five getting to Vimelka's, is that how we say Carol Vimelka? <laughs> in, in front of him, 
and getting and taking his eyes away. And what about tonight, Bruce? Well, I thought tonight, with you know, the Caps were the same way. They, they were trying to screen the goalie with their stick instead of getting the net presence, taking his eyes away from him. Because when the big cat's playing like that, you're, if he can see it, he's going to stop it. And uh, I think the, the Caps could have been better at that tonight. And we looked at that last highlight you guys had. There were Lars Ellers in front. He's in the middle of the crease. Gabby tells us, he says he's got to have him right in front of the eyes. If it hits him in the stomach, what does he do? If it hits him in the stomach, it's bouncing down, and then it's a scramble, but he's got a chance to sh uh, shoot the puck in the net. Need the yeah. traffic in front of the net. Block those eyes of Vasilevsky, who is lights out tonight. Joby and Locker, hang tight. You're going to be joining us just after the break, and we have a jam-packed Capitals postgame live. Of course, this one came down to the wire, but Brett Leeson got the scoring going, got his first NHL career goal in his second NHL game tonight. We're going to talk about those rookies. In 13-year NHL vet and Panthers color commentator Randy Moeller joins Alan May for players only to preview that Panthers matchup. And we're talking all about Caps Panthers who are 8-0-1. Red Hot, we're going to preview that matchup. All of that when we return.